Hello YouTube and welcome to my garden. It's uh, Sunday afternoon and I'm uh, intending to sit down and uh, enjoy my pipe and myself. I've been uh, fairly active today. Before lunch I was out clearing uh, uh, bushes and uh, metals and stuff like that in uh, one of the meadows and uh, after lunch we, we uh, drove a while uh, with our pony and I'll uh, close this video with uh, some footage of what happened after we, we came back fr from uh, our trip. Uh, the pony was warm and sweaty so we hosed her down. I think you say hose. We put water on her. Anyway, she gave her a shower uh, and then we let her into the meadow and uh, as she often does after we've given her <laughs> a shower uh, she rolled. She lay down on the ground and rolled back and forth. And uh, I really enjoy seeing her doing that. Sh she looks really content. So there's some footage of that, and there's also a few seconds of our uh, baby chicks. They're a week old, our, our new chickens. But that is or was about the end of the video. I'll get back to the pipe and the smoking now. I'm smoking a huge birch pipe that I made. And in it, I'm smoking some Peter Stockbiss Luxury Bullseye Flake. And it's really nice. It's really nice. I'll have uh, no problem smoking through four ounces of this. And the funny thing is that I put this pipe away during the week when I got my new pipes to, to make place in the pipe rack and I put this in a cupboard or a drawer and uh, because it's not a pipe that I smoke very often but today when, when I was out working I, I sort of got a craving for this pipe not a certain tobacco but I wanted to smoke this pipe so here I am. I've been... Uh, yesterday I was pre preparing tobacco for, for uh, aging or cellaring for uh, a couple of years. I've got a friend with a vacuum machine, I don't know what you call it. You put your stuff in a plastic bag and the machine sucks out uh, the air and creates a vacuum. And uh, I think if I'm going to store tobacco for, for several years, it's a good precaution to put uh, the tobacco in, into bags like that. So I put, I think it was 14 tins or pouches of tobacco into vacuum bags. It was stuff like Peterson's Irish Fake, Solani Age Burley Flake. Some Esoterica Pembroke, Warhorse, yeah, a little of what I managed to sell her up. And I also vacuumed the five pouches of Mick McQuaid. Since it's being discontinued, I thought I'd try to save mine as long as I can. And 
I also vacuumed some of the plug that John sent me, that he made himself. So here's some Latakia plug and I also stored his uh, rum plug. I've only got his uh, Perique Navy twist in my rotation at the moment. But I'll, I'm looking forward to trying his uh, tobaccos in, in a, a year or two. And I also put away uh, a tin of uh, an English band. It's a blend that I, I made myself. I don't smoke a lot of English and uh, somehow I ended up with quite a lot. I had, I've got or had uh, Peterson's Old Dublin, Dunhill Early Morning Pipe and then Tabo from South Africa sent me his own blend. And uh, no disrespect to those who gave me the tobaccos, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of English blends. I find them a bit dry and uh, I'm not that keen on the Latakia. So I thought that maybe they'll be more mellow and uh, more to my liking if I store them a couple of years. So I put uh, I blended uh, Dunhill early morning pipe and uh, uh, the tobacco from Tabo and I put it into a tin and I put the tin in a plastic bag and we vacuumed it. So I got it got it here. But uh, being who I am I also made a label for it. And since it's in English, I'm calling it Stiff Upper Lip. And I'm actually quite pleased with the, how the label turned out. Those of you in, living in the UK might recognize John Major, the former UK Prime Minister. He, I, I let him symbolize the stiff upper lip. Uh, yeah, I don't think I had very much more to tell you. I'm uh, just going to sit here uh, and uh, enjoy my pipe and uh, enjoy the day where I've been uh, fairly active and uh, gotten stuff done and uh, that's all, not always the case but it always feels good when I when I have a day like that so I'll uh, finish here and uh, thank you for watching take care and uh, hope to see you soon again bye